Hello, and welcome back to another round of Forgotten Hope 2. We are on the CMP map test event, and this is Midway. And I'm here with uh, Watchtowers, Tupfan, Hawk, um, uh, Ranch, uh, Geopath, uh, Papillon, Blunder, and that was it, right? I think that was it. Mm -hmm. Alright. And I am in a Dauntless SBD. I'd really like to hear from Stubcan on this one as far as the things that he's done to this map and how he created the objectives. Ah, it's been a nightmare from the start. <laughs> Just to get the coding right, there were so many issues with the um, carriers for one. Like, if you bombed bombed it from uh, staying still with the plane, it was doing one amount of damage, and when you bombed it from the air, it was doing another, and weird stuff like that, one, at one point when you can be casted, they would go down directly, uh, just tweaking the materials and settings for them was really hard. And that was then a lot going on with this map. Yeah, and then just coming up with how the map should work, how many bombs each carrier should take, sir. How many planes should be spawning everywhere. There's so many factors <laughs> to the map. And it's not <laughs> final still, but we're getting there. At least now I think the objectives is working kind of kind of good. So the objectives Thanks. for the Japanese, what are they? Japanese are supposed to kill, if that's what you mean. Uh, a bunch of fuel tanks on the Midway Island. Yeah, so it's 14 of them. It's yeah, grouped up. a lot of stars. Yeah, they're grouped up. So also, if you kill a fuel tank, it will blow up and kill the, w the fuel tank next to it automatically. So, so okay. that's good. So you so just you have, don't to have to bomb the middle one. one. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to k bomb each and every one of them anymore. Okay. It used to be like that, but it was too hard to, to kill them. Yeah. Now it's much easier. And there's a few AA batteries as well, which are which do have a radar connected to them. So when you sit in them, you get two 90 millimeter AA guns, and you get a radar function. So you can you, you get a radar that extends 900 meters out from the island, so you can see attacking planes. And those are also objectives. There's four of those, and right. then there's one hangar building uh, on the island as well. And when you kill them, uh, it's gonna spawn carriers for the for the Americans. That is also gonna be objectives. So there's two two carriers spawning. These are gonna be objectives as well. So when you kill all of those, you win. Whoa! I shot down a plane, but then I got shot down by another plane. Gotta say that the madness was uh, absolutely insane when we had 90 players. Uh, I think at several point in time we were all kind of laughing like giddy schoolgirls on how fun this map really is. And it gets epic with all the planes in the, in the air for sure. Yeah, it, uh, it's it's uh, it's getting a bit of the coral sea uh, feel. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Coral Sea was a super fun map in my uh, memories from Battlefield 1942. Ah, great. My own carrier is shooting at me when taking off. That's really nice. Thank and uh, we do sooner than later, actually. Uh, I've been working on it in the background and uh, wanted to just make it a fun map that uh, is kind of just a tribute to the original without going too crazy realistic and uh, just try to add as many specific assets as we can. Just so players can really grab a plane, grab a boat, grab a PT boat, a landing craft, um, anything that we have that's specific and just do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah, uh, air maps are always a bit of a, a problem because uh, there are so many players that don't want to fly or uh, don't feel like they're good enough to fly. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
the good thing about air maps is that there are so many planes that even if you're a bad pilot like me then you won't get shot down immediately because the enemy has so many enemies to choose from so yeah and also, this thing. And also this uh, map you can see it in the AA guns so the carriers or on the island yeah there's a lot of those so I had it and the uh, AA batteries are pretty cool I think and there's those are pretty fun to sit in and I had Lots of people typing in the whole chat before how fun it was to sit just in the AA guns. Which is great, because the windows somebody say, hey, I'm having fun in a static placement, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's <laughs> it's not often. And that's something uh, Subcan and I cooperated on. I modeled out uh, a couple of historical assets, a US 90mm AA gun and a radar array that was on wake, uh, excuse me, on midway. And uh, now we have an active end as part of the objective, so I think that's a really cool thing. Can't drop the torpedoes, what's going on? Oh. That sounded like, um... Yeah, Spin Drifter, that's what I wanted to say. Spin Drifter can't drop the torpedoes, he says. I, I blame lost. user error. We lost three objectives. Yeah, I got a hit on the uh, fuel tanks, so we kill, kill all three at the same time. Because they explode and kill each other. But that's not necessarily always the case. You're saying that it's possible that fuel tank might get destroyed and in the process of up a couple other ones. Yeah, it's pretty much always happening. When you, when, if you kill one of them, the other ones in, within an area of 20, 25 meters will blow up as well. Because the explosion will cause so much damage. I did this because, well, they're fuel tanks and they should make a big, you know, probably would happen in real life, I guess. Would be a big fire and everything would blow up. And yeah. also, wow, also it was too hard to individually kill all of them. Because they're not that super big. And uh, the carriers, they can't uh, be repaired? No, no, no repairs in this one either. Maybe we can add it in the future, but we need to carefully tweak that to be balanced wise. No, please don't add uh, repair capabilities on this map. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it's a good I idea either. <laughs> it's I think that it's good that it's not. Not only that, because um, the objectives also are multi-part. There's just not just there's more than one phase of the objectives, and so once the carriers are lost, and a fleet appears, so it's a multi-part battle, and uh, there was repairing can be with the stop progression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. When the three Japanese carrier goes down, another Japanese carrier will come up, and also a few ships together with it. And those are also objectives for the Americans to kill. Okay. <coughs> it probably needs to all, all be balanced out still, but it's, it's still in a test phase, so... I think in real life, uh, Japan had started attacking the island and they realized that there were U.S. carriers nearby. So they abandoned the attack on the island and then it turned into a carrier fight, which the Japanese were utterly decimated. Yeah, but they were also super unlucky. Also very unlucky, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seems like the U.S. just made the right decisions at the right time, and uh, it just didn't work out that way for the Japanese. Yeah, the, the Japanese scout plane also lost connection for a while. And then when uh, when the Americans were... Uh, when they were uh, getting... When the, the Japanese were trying to uh, attack the, um, the Americans, they wanted to uh, use uh, bombs. And then uh, the the scout plane uh, detected uh, the carriers, 
So they were changing to torpedoes. And while they were changing to torpedoes, the, there was a formation of uh, SBDs that spotted them. And they were all lined up on the deck of the carrier with all the hoses for the kerosene laying across the, the deck. And uh, the, the, the SBDs just had uh, to dive in and uh, drop their bombs. And then the, uh, the carrier became one huge fireball because of all those fuel hoses lying around. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, and if they would have stuck to their first plan uh, to bomb, the, um, to bomb the, the airfield, then they wouldn't have had that problem and they would have they would have uh, they would have taken off by then. And I think we're seeing the gradual increase of players going on here, so we're up to forty which is good. Earlier today we had about a hundred, uh, which was absolute madness, but uh, I think we're starting to see some people come back here after the crashing was settled down. Yeah, them. it's it's very very subtle though. Because it's a gain of two or three players. So, I'm in a Marauder. The Marauder has a kind of a wimpy sound, if I uh, may say so. Because it's a heavier plane than the SBD, and it sounds like a, it sounds a bit like an electrical car. <laughs> Well, living in Seattle, I live near the Boeing airfield, and I can tell you that I've actually seen one fly directly over my house, and uh, you can hear them coming a long ways away. In fact, so far away, I have the time to go, wow, that's, that's definitely a prop plane, and it's definitely heading my way. So I walk outside, and sure enough, a B-26 goes flying over my house. Cool. And uh, I've been able to capture some photos and whatnot, but I, I then had the sudden realization like thinking of history now imagine hundreds of those heading towards you and you would know that you're about to be attacked i mean there is, there is no doubt in my mind that after hearing one and hearing it from very far away approaching my house that a fleet of them would have been uh deafening and uh you know they they fly over and uh they, they almost seem to float in comparison to modern planes so it's it's a wonder that uh a lot of those planes got shot down Whoa! Lauren, a wildcat just flew in to a marauder, killed it. <laughs> That's bad. Hey, uh, some gameplay thing. Um, hey, yeah, mate, Matt. Um. Because I'm a bad pilot, I've been killed every time I have uh, bombed a carrier. But isn't it actually faster to get bombed and then just respawn and grab a plane again instead of flying back and rearm? It's very much so, yeah. Because, um, because that is not really motivating people to stay alive. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe, you know, add <laughs> some reinforcement. You know, you have to fly somewhere closer to reinforce them. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think about. You know, maybe have a zone that you can go to. Maybe where the uh, US, I don't know, somewhere in between, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, but that would also be a bit meme. -y. Yeah, exactly. Nothing really. Yay! We have an ob objective destroyed. But in green letters, that means that we destroyed it, right? Yep. But I still Locked see three orange. stars. Goddamn wildcats, stop chasing. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> That's weird that it's different. Yeah, yeah so we're not exactly a fight center down. here, but uh, either way, the wildcats are pretty effective on <coughs> digging down grappling planes with 650 caliber machine guns. Yeah, that wildcat is mean. K 
can't seem to get away from the carriers this time, so that's improvement. Yeah, they're, the uh, Wildcats are definitely kind of pinning between the Japanese town and the flight yeah, deck right but now, which is really fun. Yeah, we have Coltar in our team, and he's a pretty good pilot. So yeah, he's a. But last time we had 100 players. Oh, all the, uh, there's the next uh, the next carrier going down. This is going fast all of a sudden. Not sure yeah, how many. I definitely feel a sense of urgency playing this map to try to take out the enemy objectives before yours go down. Yeah, the problem is that you have to protect your own objectives and attack the one from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Dilemmas, dilemmas. And I think that actually, in a way, makes it even more stark because that's what was going on. There was this balance of how many planes do we send towards enemy carriers while still providing some sort of protection to ours. Yeah. Well, in uh, today's issue of What's Your First World Problem, we have the dilemma of how many planes do you send in your game towards a fictional enemy carrier while <laughs> you have to protect your own objectives on an other island somewhere, also pretty fictional. Uh, I think I just missed my target entirely. Yeah, we have a lot of veteran players that play this game every day, and uh, some of the guys really play <laughs> these planes. Ah, uh, that was funny. Um, my SBD got repaired by a sunken carrier. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. <laughs> Damn it. Right now I've got my sights on a Wildcat. I'm in a zero and I'm trying to provide some fire protection here for the fighter bombers that are going out. But uh, the Wildcat definitely seems to be much more maneuverable than the zero, so I'm having a hard time keeping with them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They should fare pretty well against them. Oh, damn it. Well, if I can line up my secondary fire, he's toast. But right now, it's a turning game. Well. So I think I'm going to try to sneakily lead him back to my carrier and see what happens here if he falls for it. Yep, he's falling for it, so I'm leading him in. He's shooting at my rear. The map is far from over, I know. Yeah, this last carry we have now is burning like hell. Oh, the B-26 is coming. Oh, that's a big bump. Yeah. Oh, I got a nice screenshot of that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. But oh, I managed to live. I'm in the water. I'm bleeding out, but I have no way to bandage, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drown shortly. But why is the bleed not going down fast? And there's Geocat just kind of floating next to me. Uh, about oh, to new, well. new objectives. Okay. What are the new objectives? I'm super curious. I'm just going to commit ritual, ritual suicide here. That's the Japanese. Oh. Boom. Shit. They are a lot closer to the island now. Yep. So now I am in a destroyer, the Mugami, and uh, it's an objective, so they're coming straight for us. And with the radar sweeping, uh, there's definitely some enemies coming right at us. Man, I keep getting shot down every time I take off this time. It wasn't like this before. Somebody needs to man the AA guns. That's the thing when you don't have enough numbers. Yeah. It's still rising though. We've got 43 now. We should have a Midway 24-7 server. <laughs> oh, I, I agree. I would definitely have no problem with that. And uh, I would think the community would probably like something like that. But we don't want people to not play the stock maps. I mean, I, after even after all these years, I still have a lot of fun playing the stock maps. and. Uh, Sometimes, sometimes they're still unpredictable, amazingly. Yeah, yeah. it's also because um, you can uh, play so many different roles. 
And that is why FH2 has such great replayability, and this is why I can come back. It's just, just there's so much to do. So many assets. No other game. I, in my opinion, this is the biggest World War II game that's been made. I mean, name a bigger one. Uh, who has more weapons, vehicles, maps. Yeah, there's I mean. none. There's none. And especially maps, because we have like 49 maps right now. And that's without the CMP ones. And that is also not including uh, other things that are not yet even released that have been in the works for a long time. And the quality is uh, definitely going to be there on day one. So there's still a lot more of FH2 that people haven't seen yet. Overshoot me. Very good. Ah. Maybe ABC is not bad. But maybe we need to write something for on the mini map. People maybe still want to drive the destroyer into it. <laughs> this like is having to write things on the map. You know, you, you you hope the players figure it out. But sometimes they just need it spelled out for them. I agree, but we don't get uh, we don't there. get marauders in this phase anymore. Uh oh, I think I just got hit. Oh, you always going. Get, you always get marauders to them, I think. All okay. right. Right now, the uh, Mugami is desperately firing at uh, multiple planes that are coming in. Uh, I put spawn points on the marauder as well, so we, if you wanna, you know. Yeah, but I wanna fly one. Marauder, you can <laughs> fly. Oh, well, still, I can't go to the uh, U.S. carrier. It's less than the OOB zone. Uh oh. I think our ship captain has taken us out of bounds, which would be a really devastating thing. Especially since it's an objective and we can't spawn it, we'll, we'll completely lose it. What is this all that ship? we can do is just, just sit here and defend? In the out of bounds. Yep. But now we're going to have to try to reverse the ship to get it out of the boundaries, so that is one thing that I honestly wasn't on this map either, so. see what happens here. That might be a deadly mistake as far as uh, the gameplay goes. Hopefully you can back it up. Alright, Geo, back I it up, back it up. I need to make sure no, that the uh, no, no, US, no. US ship spawn faster somehow. Hey, I got Over things reverse. switched, but I want to finish the round as an American, so... You need us to switch you back? Yeah, if you can. Yeah. Uh, Alright, you've been to you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let us know if it happens again. So That's is the point uh, to prevent the ships from uh, sinking the U.S. carrier? Or was it to just prevent uh, American pilots from jumping on the deck? Yes, for the deck, but I think I really just removed the ABC lines. I mean, you just stopped another plane coming straight in. It's not it the ABC a line, it's a giant out of there bound more. in like the uh, northeast uh, oh, yeah. the border of the map. But there's, there's no real point of them, because if you let, if you let another team you know, land on your a or your craft carrier, you you suck. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but you, you can make an a make an out of bounds of this just for the deck. I'll just really remove the parachutes so you can not not hop the whole on. order. Like I'm in a F3 and I ran it out of bounds zone. Yeah, I, it was put there, I guess, to prevent the uh, torpedoes and stuff. But it, that that should all be balanced in at some point. Okay. I we see need to uh, stars hopping off, hopping on over the... God damn, wildcats everywhere! Jeez. Yeah, this is uh, getting pretty crazy. Being on this ship, there's definitely a sense of urgency to kind of keep it alive and keep moving. We had a P-26 fly over us, but instead of bombing the length of our ship, he bombed across and only managed to get one bomb going, but had he lined up his uh, plane correctly, he might have actually gotten a six or seven hits on us and sunk it. The, the approach definitely matters. Somebody please man the AA guns. Nah, you don't really have to man the AA guns. I mean, what, what can a plane do? Uh, shoot all the planes trying to take off down.
I want to kill the, uh... Oh! Huh. Oh, no. I took one down! <coughs> Coltar is now in the Japanese team. There's one AA gun left on the island. If I shoot if I shoot that, the um, American <coughs> ship is, is gonna spawn as well, so I wanna destroy it, but I kept fucking getting shot down by wildcats. Boy, if we could uh, have a, you know, like a six-channel TV going that shows the screenshots of what all of us are doing right now, I think you know, people would be pretty surprised on how many different things you can do on this map at the same time. Yeah, just plane after plane is coming for the carrier. It looks like a lucky one who's driving our destroyers, positioning our destroyer in between the Americans and, and our carrier, which is a really good idea. Yeah, I'm going to try to bring the battleship back there. Lost an idiot. objective. Okay. Oh, and a ship just, a uh, plane just went barreling into the uh, Japanese carrier. Right uh, in the back. And I got another objective. Great. So right now we've got a destroyer and a battleship in the northern sector. So we'll see what happens here. I don't. What does yeah. the U.S. have as far as assets at this moment? They should have destroyers now in, in the submarine. There's just a hangar left now. If that's killed, you get another carrier. When it says... This guy's <laughs> smart. He's got some altitude. And he's doing a straight vertical dive on the carrier. I see a bomb floating down towards our carrier. I think it's a hit. Yeah, I, d I did the you same. I just cut. Ship. I just cut the engine. <laughs> Can the Allied ships uh, reach the Japanese carrier, or is it out of, out of bounds? I'm not sure. We've got a really pesky wildcat that seems to be evading six or seven AA gunners right now. It's unbelievable. He's he managed to get away on fire, but nevertheless. Do you know the destroyers can um, damage the Mogami? Yeah, they, they can. Should be able to. feeling a little strategy going on here, like uh, we're, we're talking about positioning our ships in the correct spot and uh, protecting the carriers, so this is really cool. This did not happen last time for me, so it's great. No, it should and be we got radar, deal like now. some planes are starting to approach us again. And SPD just got another hit on our ship. So even with four or five gunners, we're still unable to get some of these planes down before they have a chance to drop the bombs. Boom! Oh, and that occurred just took another bad hit. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. Uh, <laughs> I saw your plane flying over from the perspective of the uh, Japanese destroyer. Yeah, I got uh, I I get killed all the time when I do a uh, bombing sortie, but I also hit at least once every time. And I think both my bombs hit it. So right now we've got our radar combined, it looks like the carrier has a much bigger radius as far as the 
uh, radar goes. And uh, why cool. aren't why aren't the Japanese beating? By the way, that's a good question. Because why is it not just so that you uh, lose tickets when you lose an objective? Because I'm not sure how to code that actually. I guess we have stuff to figure out. Or if it's even possible with with the current system. Or just make it so that uh, you lose you lose when you lost all your objectives? Yeah, that's the point. I mean, when the Americans lose all objectives, they start bleeding and the bleed is super fast, so it goes down. Yeah, but you could but make it the there's same no for other the Japanese, map that right? Has, that has a double objective like this map, so it's the oh, is not really made for, for these kinds of maps. So I had to improvise a little bit. Can you do that fast bleed only for one team? Sorry, do oh. can I do what? Can you do the fast beat only for one team, or is it possible to? I uh, know I can do it for both teams, but then, then. Um, uh, I can build something. So interestingly, yeah. I was. Uh, that, a -A that, that is possible, I guess. I think so. If I, uh, 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 if I'm smart a little bit, I can do that. Yeah, sure. So there's no blade at all. Yeah, just objectives, pure objectives. Yeah, because right yeah, now the Japanese also have the uh, the the extra pressure that they have to do it bec before they bleed out. Yeah, of course. But there's two there's two little tickets on this map as well. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> race those. Shit. Looks like the players are looking for some infantry action going, so we might have to go Berlin thirty two. So it looks like despite being able to keep these ships afloat, we're going to lose it on tickets, which, which is not not terrible news. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how uh, how far down is the is the carrier. <coughs> well, the, I'm on the Hat Suzuki right now, and it's about 50% health. And uh, another bomber is going to make it. Oh, he might make it. I see bombs in the air. And it looks like he damaged another destroyer, but did not sink it because of his approach. He was trying to bomb the bomb the sh bomb the ship from a sideways position instead of coming and uh, forming up from the rear or the front and just doing a line of bombs. So I think if I was going to be the in the pilot seat of the U.S. bomber, I would line it up so I could really get like six or seven hits. Destroyers do nothing to the Japanese carrier. What does what does nothing? The Allied destroyer. No, because that would break the the entire uh, gameplay. And another thing, uh, there's uh, it's definitely worth firing, uh, even if you're a wildcat at the Japanese boat, because I was actually straight out of my AA position, so. You can definitely kill the crew out of the AA guns as you fly by. Mm -hmm. Looks like the modder is up in the air again, heading towards the carrier. See what happens. Looks like they got him because there's a multi-kill. Does the Mogami have anything for submarines? Uh, can't recall. Let's see what you have. I would uh, spawn the um, Japanese carrier more like closer to the edge of the map, like say B6, but one something like that. So there's a, a wider area where the destroyers and the, the submarine and Mokami kind of fight in the middle of the map. I just got a. Yeah. I just shot out another enemy fighter coming straight at us, but. Uh, Still effective. He's able to scrape out the AA gunners. Ah! What about you, sir? What are you doing at the current moment? Are you in a plane? Goddamn submarine's gonna kill us all.
my destroyers are running away instead of attacking the submarine. So many planes coming by, it's getting hard to track them. Uh oh, B-26 is going for another run. Yeah, I lined up wrongly. Ah, I may have given you too good of a tip here. But I am in the gun, shooting straight at you, so here Shit. you come! Oh, I'm down. Oh, oh, oh. And you're going to barrel right into our ship. Ah, uh, not really, it floated by. Oh, it floated into the water. But uh, I'm in the AA guns and I saw you coming straight at us. I, I thought we were dead there for sure. Oh, and our ship is capsizing. What's going on? It just took a nasty hit. I think our boat just launched out of the air and just is still riding itself. Okay, I think I think I just killed it, our own ship with the torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, uh, lots of burning tanks on Midway, but still the Americans won. That's it for this round. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.